Addition is one of the foundational building blocks of any Excel formula, but there's a couple ways to do it. Let's have a look at adding up all of these rows and all of these columns to get the totals. As with any Excel formula, we start with an equal sign, and then you can select each cell in the row, placing a plus symbol between them. Then after you're finished, press enter. Because we've used a relative reference in our formula, we can click on the bottom corner of the cell and drag it down to get the rest of our row totals. Now, if you're adding together a bunch of cells, it can be very cumbersome to go through and click each individual one. In this case, we're going to use the sum function. We start with our equal sign and then type in the formula sum with an opening bracket. Then we're going to select the first cell that we want to add together and drag to select the last cell that we want to add together. Put a closing bracket and press enter. Because we've also used relative references in this formula, we can click on the corner and drag it to the right. And that's two ways to add up your rows and columns in Excel. If you have another Excel question that you want a quick answer to, leave it in the comments below and I may be able to cover it in a new video. See you next time.